ಹಲೋ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಆನರಬಲ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅರೈವ್ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದರ್ ಸೀಟ್ಸ್ it's indeed a privilege for me to be the mc of this function organized by ksbc organized by ksbc to give a tribute to justice mohan shantan gowder sharanara maranava ಶರಣವರ ಶರಣರ ಮಹಿಮೆಯ ಮರಣದಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡು ಎಂದು ಹೇಳುವುದು ಒಂದು ನಾಣ್ಣೋಡಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೇರಿರುವ ಗಣ್ಯಾತಿ ಗಣ್ಯರೇ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಮೋಹನ್ ಶಾಂತನ ಗೌಡರ ಮಹಿಮೆಯ ಮಹಿಮೆಗೆ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ನಾವು ಮೇ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಬಾಬು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ lead the guests to dais request all gunmen to be seated please ellro avara avara sthanadalli kutkobeku ಗನ್ಮನ್ ಗಳೆಲ್ಲ ಅವರವರ ಜಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂತ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಗಳು ಮುಂದೆ ಬರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವಕಾಶ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡಿ honorable chief justice of india and honorable chief minister of karnataka and all other judges are giving their homage pushpa namanavanna maduttidare
Now may I request Honorable Chairman of KSBC and members to kindly lead the guests to dais, please. ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರವ್ರೆ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಡಿ ನಾವು ಮೇ ಐ ಕಾಲ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಬಸವರಾಜ್ ಎಸ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಬಾರ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಟು ಡೆಲಿವರ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಬಸವರಾಜ್ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ we have assembled here to pay respect to one of the finest human beings who has also happened to be a lawyer member and chairman karnataka state bar council judge of high court and the judge of the supreme court of india shri mohan m shantana gowder they say and i firmly believe that this society and the some of the greatest institutions we cherish depend on the people who have three distinct qualities hard work strong determination and unquestionable integrity justice mohan shantan gowder was an embodiment of all the three principles in the second judge's case of 1993 justice ahmadi as he then was court's lord chancellor and says that a judge must be a gentleman and knowledge of law is certainly an advantage however justice shantan gowder was not only a thorough gentleman Justice he had a vast knowledge about the laws especially Justice the local laws which deal with the poor human beings i think the term ajata shatru was coined keeping in mind justice mohan m shantan gowder is untimely death Justice has left us in sorrow the values and principles he cherished and followed shall be continued as a beacon of light for the generation to come in posterity today's function is an attempt by the karnataka state bar council to pay respect to the greatest human being and also to follow and commit ourselves to follow the uh, uh, the values and also the principles he built brick by brick on behalf of the entire legal fraternity of the state of karnataka and also on behalf of the karnataka state bar council i welcome the guests dignitaries and the distinguished speakers at the outset i cordially invite honorable mr justice n v ramana chief justice supreme court of india new delhi i cordially welcome shri basavaraj bommai honorable chief minister government of karnataka i cordially welcome honorable mr justice eb s abdul nazir judge supreme court of india i extend a warm welcome to 
ಹನಬಲ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಬೋಪಣ್ಣ ಜಡ್ಜ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ವಾಮ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಹನಬಲ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಅಭಯ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಓಕ ಜಡ್ಜ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಹೂ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಜುಡಿಷರಿ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ವಾಮ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಹಾನಬಲ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಬಿ ವಿ ನಾಗರತ್ನ ಜಡ್ಜ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ಕಾರ್ಡಿಯಲ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಹನಬಲ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಸತೀಶ್ ಚಂದ್ರ ಶರ್ಮಾ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ಬ್ರದರ್ಲಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಬಾಬು ಎಲ್ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಬಾರ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ಕಾರ್ಡಿಯಲ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಜೆ ಸಿ ಮಾಧುಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆನರಬಲ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಾಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟರಿ ಅಫೇರ್ಸ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಪ್ರಬುಲಿಂಗ್ ಕೆ ನಾವದಗಿ ಅಡ್ವೊಕೇಟ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ಕಾರ್ಡಿಯಲ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಸದಾಶಿವ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ವೈಆರ್ ಕೋ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಬಾರ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ನ್ಯೂ ಡೆಲ್ಲಿ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಕಿವಡ್ ಕಲಮೇಶ್ವರ್ ತುಕಾರಾಮ್ ವೈಸ್ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಬಾರ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ದಿ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಾನಬಲ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಮೋಹನ್ ಎಂ ಶಾಂತನಗೌಡರ್ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ವಾಮ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಹಾನಬಲ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಜಡ್ಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹಾನಬಲ್ ಲೋಕಾಯುಕ್ತ ಅಂಡ್ ಉಪ ಲೋಕಾಯುಕ್ತ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ವಾಮ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ರಿಟೈರ್ಡ್ ಜಡ್ಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ಹಾರ್ಟಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಡೆಸಿಗ್ನೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಅಡ್ವೊಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ಕಾರ್ಡಿಯಲ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿ ಅಡಿಷನಲ್ ಜಡ್ಜಸ್ ಅಡಿಷನಲ್ ಅಡ್ವೊಕೇಟ್ ಜನರಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ವಾರ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿ ಅಡಿಷನಲ್ ಸಾಲಿಸಿಟರ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸಾಲಿಸಿಟರ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ಹಾರ್ಟಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಡ್ವೊಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಲೀಡರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ವಾಮ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫೀಸ್ ಬೇರರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಡ್ವೊಕೇಟ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಫಿಲಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದಿ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಬಾರ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಎ ಹಾರ್ಟಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಲರ್ನೆಡ್ ಅಡ್ವೊಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಗೌತಮ್ ಚಂದ್ ಟು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ದಿ ಆಂಕರಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಬಸವರಾಜ್ ನಾವು ಮೇ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಆನರಬಲ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಟು ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಲ್ಯಾಮ್ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಡಿಗ್ನಟರೀಸ್ ಟು ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಹಿಮ್ request the family members to kindly join mr shiv prasad
थैंक यू सर नाउ मे आई रिक्वेस्ट मिस्टर वै आर सदाशिव रेड्डी बार कौंसिल ऑफ इंडिया मेंबर एंड को चेयरमैन ऑफ बार कौंसिल ऑफ इंडिया टू डू इनिशियल रिमार्क्स हॉनरबल मिस्टर जस्टिस एन वै रमण गार चीफ जस्टिस सुप्रीम कोर्ट आफ् इंडिया हॉनरबल जडस् आफ् सुप्रीम कोर्ट आफ् इंडिया हॉनरबल मिस्टर जस्टिस सतीश चंद्र शर्मा आक्टिंग चीफ जस्टिस हईकोर्ट आफ् कर्नाटक श्री बसवराज बोमाय हॉनरबल चीफ मिनिस्टर गवर्नमेंट आफ् कर्नाटक हॉनरबल जडस् आफ् द हईकोर्ट श्री जे सी मधुस्वामी हॉनरबल ला मिनिस्टर गवर्नमेंट आफ् कर्नाटक श्री प्रबली नावड़गी अडवकेट जनरल हईकोर्ट आफ् कर्नाटक अंड आल अदर डिग्नेटरी आन द डयास अंड आफ् द डयास फैमिल मेबर्स आफ फैमिली मेबर्स अंड फ्रेंड्स आफ् लेट जस्टिस मोहन चंदन गौडर अंड लेडीस एंड जेटलम टूडे वी हव असेंबल हियर टू पे अवर रेस्पेक्टफुल होम एज टू लेट जस्टिस मोहन चंदन गौडर हु पास अवे वेरी रीसेंटली a tribute program is nothing but a smaranjali the name of the program itself is heartfelt program this program has given an opportunity to all of us to pay the heartfelt tribute to late justice mohan shantan gounda he has left behind his great memories in our heart which are remembering every moment in our life particularly in the field of advocacy when we lose someone we love we must learn not to live without them but to live with the love they left behind the quotation made us about the justice mohan chandran gowda personality which is most significant and ideal and it always remains our heart for a very long time it is known fact that justice mohan chandran gowda was well known personality and every one of us know about him but still i feel it is my duty to say few words about him late justice bohan chantan gowder was born in a very humble and reputed family though he was born in a small village in darwa district reach higher point in the country highest point of the in the country he was a man of democratic principles and he was always believed in democratic system he was elected for a period of two terms for the karnataka state bar council and he became a chairman of karnataka state bar council once he advocated and introduced the new concept of chairman tenure from 2 years to 1 year which provide an opportunity to most of the elected members to become a chairman of the state bar council he was a man of commitment and always very idealistic in nature this contribution is Justice more significant remarkable and respectable native, in the Chikki history of karnataka state bar council and also very widely appreciated by the legal fraternity about the democratic way of governance so human touch the junior educates always remember late justice mohan chandra gowd as a friend philosopher and guide even in any critical situation he never lost his temper he was very friendly with everyone and fairly believed and practiced the gondian principles he always preached and practiced shanti mantra to solve the issues not only to the clients but also with friends which led to be pop properly known as shantamurti shantana gowda he strongly educated for justice to be believed delivered to the doorstep with the basic principle he has advocated and was very instrumental in the establishment of high court benches at darwad and kalburgi the member of legal the members of the legal fraternity and people of the north karnataka are remembering his contribution and efforts endowed in the establishment of benches one thing i must say is that each and every person position he earned was through his hard work and sincerity which was reflected his own judgment reported in ayala 2013 karnataka 
awards should not be asked or prayed for, but the same should be conferred. Honor cannot be sought or demanded, but the honor should be earned. The act of inviting applications and the interference by third parties in the matter of honoring personalities constitute disrespect. The underserving people shall be excluded from consideration in the interest of the nation at large. Now, he is the example for his own judgment, which has been conferred for his high qualities by Honorable Chief Justice of India and other judges of the Supreme Court of India who have flown from New Delhi to Bangalore for participating in the tribute program. And all of us who are participating is a matter of pride and respect. Prayers and fond memories or what we have to remember, may God give him eternal rest. My most heartfelt condolences to the family of Justice, late Mohan Chandran Gowda. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your friendly tributes. Now, I request all to stand for two minutes in memory of Honorable Justice Mohan Chantan Gaur. Thank you. Now, may I request? Shri Prabhuling K. Navalgi, Honorable Advocate General, Government of Karnataka, to pay homage to Justice Mohan Chantan Gowda. Lord, the Honorable Chief Justice of India, Honorable Shri Justice S. Abdul Nazi. Honorable Sri Justice A.S. Bopanna, Honorable Justice Abhay Srinivasok, Honorable Srimati Justice B.V. Nagratna, the Honorable Chief Minister for Karnataka Sri Basavaraj Bamai, the Honorable Acting Chief Justice Sri Justice Satish Chandra Sharma, the Honorable Minister for Law and Parliamentary Affairs Sri J.C. Madhuswami, the Chairman of the Karnataka State Bar Council, Honorable Judges of the Karnataka High Court, members of the Karnataka State Bar Council, family members of uh, Justice Mohan Shantan Gowda. It is with uh, profound grief and sorrow, I on behalf of the bar express our heartfelt condolences on the untimely demise of uh, Justice Mohan Shantan Gowda, who left for heavenly award on the 24th of April this year. His untimely death has left a great void in the entire legal fraternity. In his demise, the members of the legal fraternity and more importantly, the younger lawyers have lost a role model and a person who could have been looked up to. Justice Mohan Shantan Gowdar, in the stream of his life as a judge of the Karnataka High Court, as Chief Justice of the Kerala High Court, and finally, as a judge of the Supreme Court of India, discharged his duties in an exemplary manner. His esteemed father, 
late Sri V. C. Shantan Gowder himself was a very eminent lawyer and lived a life based on Gandhian values. It was no surprise that Justice Shantan Gowder inherited and inculcated all these qualities, which reflected in the way he led his life, both as a judge of the Karnataka High Court and as a judge of the Supreme Court. He delivered judgments on practically every branch of law, which were precedent setting and noteworthy. He will always be remembered as a compassionate judge with a simple approach. But more than all this, I must say, he was a great human being, a loyal friend and a noble soul. The fact that the Honorable Chief Justice of India and his brother and sister judges have come all the way from New Delhi itself shows the kind of friendships and relationships he built over a period of time. It may be also appropriate to mention the gesture of the Honorable Chief Justice of India and the other judges. It shows the compassion they have for their brother and sister judges. As I end, uh, we all join together to pay homage to the departed soul and may his soul rest in peace. I also pray to the Almighty that the family members of Justice Mohan Shantan Gowdar have the courage to face this irreparable loss. I thank the Bar Council for giving me an opportunity to pay homage to the departed soul. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Advocate General. Now, may I request Sri J.C. Madhuswami, Honorable Minister of Law and Parliamentary Affairs, Government of Karnataka, to give his tributes. Gauravan Vita Supreme Court Nam Sesh Nayadish Radha Sanmanish Ramana Ure Rajida Mukimantri Gada Sanmanish Sar Bhuma Ure Sesh Nayaleda Gauravan Vita Justice of Radha Srimati Nagrat Naure Sriman Najis Ebre Sriman Open our at the Karnataka Dinda Ektane Sestan Alay Deke Elevator than the Saman Evoka or Nama Ali Angami Sestan Adish Rada Sharma Jevre Ved Kelupas Titro Prabhu Ramatu Ella Patitiganere Mon Shantan go again and again. Solpa Bandeve Itu Nano the Sadali Gestago Gide Bandan Jote Kutu Tamasha Madre no Mantrigal Jote now Kurbo Dante Nandregas the Lesser Jerzigal Jete now Kurbo Dana Kalaido Kut Pitti de Valle Bedin Wogli Mark Bidana and Avibro Jedju Mantri in Tavan Theodru Sahru de Manisha Wundu Sand Gatne Namgen Editu now. Karnataka Law University in Ali Kanukation Karakrama Madbekagitu Pura program and a fix Madi Sumar Muna Laksa or Maklo Degree Tarleke Ublik Bandidro, San Manashant and Gaudro Avatunam Gestafana Ragidro Namdurdeva Drinda Sanjay Raja Sarkara Covid Goskara Nirbandagal Nakutro Nama Honor. Honorable Governor Roro, Ella program will not at the Madi Indru Shantan Gaudru Nanke phone Madi La Ministress will pay Ochena Madi Stone Makla Seridare Nal Kost in the Kano Keshan Agila Nan Kuda Dili in the Banbiti in the end Nanaga Sanman Edur of Norna request Markondo One did use the Matge Ublina Ladana relax Marcy Son man Raja Padre Gherde, Tau Daimadi Nanu Matushantan Gaudro, E. Karekrama Madli Kanu Madinta Anumar Kotun and Lodaga Shantan Gaudro, 
ನನಗೊಂದೆರಡು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಮಾತು ಹೇಳಿದರು ರಾಜಕಾರಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಗಟ್ಟಿತನ ಇರಬೇಕು ಎಲ್ಲದನ್ನ ಒಂದೇ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಲಿ ನೋಡಬಾರ್ದು ತಾವೇ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಜಡ್ಜ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ನಂದೇನು ಬಿಡಿ ಸರ್ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ದೃಷ್ಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ನಾವು ಒಂದು ತೀರ್ಮಾನ ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ಕಾಯಿತು ಮತ್ತೆ ಅವರ ತಾಯಿಯವ್ರು ತೀರೋಗಿದ್ದ ಕೂಡ ನಾನು ಅವ್ರ ಜೊತೆ ಇದ್ದೆ ದುರದೃಷ್ಟವಶಾತ್ ಅವರು ಮರಣ ಹೊಂದಾಗ ನನಗೆ ಹೋಗೋಕ್ಕಾಗಲಿಲ್ಲ ನನಗೆ ವರ್ತಮಾನ ಸಿಕ್ಕಲಿಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಒಬ್ಬ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಯನ್ನ ಹುದ್ದೆ ಯಾವುದಾದ್ರೂ ಇರಲಿ ಮಾನವೀಯ ಗುಣಗಳನ್ನ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡವ್ರನ್ನ ನಾವು ಕಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಪರವಾಗಿ ನಾವೇನು ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಗ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದು ಅದರಲ್ಲೊಂದು ಭಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಯಿತು ಅಂತ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸಂಕಟ ಆಯಿತು ಅವರ ಆತ್ಮಕ್ಕೆ ಶಾಂತಿ ಸಿಗಲಿ ಅವ್ರ ಕುಟುಂಬಕ್ಕೆ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಬರೆಸೋ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಬರಲಿ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಭಗವಂತ ಮೇಲೆ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಮತ್ತು ನನಗೊಂದು ಅದರ ಹೊರತಾಗಿ ಅವ್ರ ದಾರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಇವತ್ತು ನಾವು ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಪಾಲನ್ನ ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕಾಗಿದೆ ಮೇಡಮ್ ನಾಗರತ್ನ ಅವರು ನಮ್ಮ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಜಡ್ಜ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಿರೋದು ಇಲ್ಲಿದ್ದ ಮುಖ್ಯ ನ್ಯಾಯಾಧೀಶರು ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಿರೋದು ನನಗೆ ಬಹಳ ಖುಷಿ ತಂದಿದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಅವಧಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂರು ಜನ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದವರು ಮತ್ತೊಬ್ಬರು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಿಂದ ಹೋದವರು ನಾಲ್ಕು ಜನ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಜಡ್ಜ್ಗಳಾಗಿರೋದು ಮತ್ತು ಇಬ್ಬರು ಈ ರಾಜ್ಯದಿಂದ ಎರಡು ನ್ಯಾಯಾಲಯಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ನ್ಯಾಯಾಲಯಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಖ್ಯ ನ್ಯಾಯಾಧೀಶರಾಗಿ ಆಯ್ಕೆ ಆಗಿರೋದು ಮತ್ತು ಆಗಾಗಲೇ ಅವ್ರು ಹೋಗಿರೋದು ನಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ಭಾಳ ಹರ್ಷ ತರಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಲಾ ಫೆಟರ್ನಿಟಿಗೆ ಇದೊಂದು ಕೊಂಬು ಇದೊಂದು ಕಿರೀಟ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಾನು ಭಾವಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಇದರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನಮಗೆ ಈ ಸಲ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿರೋ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಲಾ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಕೂಡ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಕರೆಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರದಲ್ಲೇ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠವಾದ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಅಥವಾ ಲಾ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಅಂಥೇಳಿ ಮನ್ನಣೆಗೆ ಪಾತ್ರ ಆಗಿರೋದು ಕೂಡ ತಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಏನು ಲಾ ಫ್ರೆಟರ್ನಿಟಿ ಅವರು ಇದ್ದೀರಿ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ಪಟ್ಕೋಬೋದಾದ ಸಂಗತಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯರೆಲ್ಲ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಿಂದ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಿ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಮಟ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಗೌರವ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆನೇನು ಮೆರೆಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಾಪಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಾವು ಆಭಾರಿಗಳಂತೇಳಿ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಶಾಂತನಗೌಡರ ಆತ್ಮಕ್ಕೆ ಶಾಂತಿಯನ್ನು ಕೋರಿ ನನ್ನ ಕರೆದು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜೊತೆಯಲ್ಲೇ ಕನು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ಟವ್ರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಆಭಾರಿ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ನನ್ನ ಮಾತನ್ನು ಮುಗಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಮಂತ್ರಿಗಳಾದಂಥ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾಧುಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಅವರಿಗೆ ತಮ್ಮ ಸರಳ ನುಡಿ ನಮನವನ್ನು ನೀಡಿದ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ನಾವು ನ್ಯಾಯ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಬಾಬು ಎಲ್ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಬಾರ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಟು ಪೇ ಹಿಸ್ ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಎನ್ ವಿ ರಮಣ ಚೀಫ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಎಸ್ ಅಬ್ದುಲ್ ನಜೀರ್ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಬೋಪಣ್ಣ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಎ ಅಭಯ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಬೋಕ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಬಿ ವಿ ನಾಗರತ್ನ ಜಡ್ಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಸತೀಶ್ ಚಂದ್ರ ಶರ್ಮ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಡ್ಜಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಬಸವರಾಜ್ ಬೊಮ್ಮಾಯಿ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಶ್ರೀ ಜೆ ಎಸ್ ಮಾಧುಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಲಾ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಡಿಗ್ನರಿಟೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಡಯಾಸ್ ಕೊಲಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಬಾರ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೇ
who served as a member, vice chairman, and chairman in the Bar Council. It is a worth high time to mention to recall here the greatest contribution to the State Bar Council by virtue of his deep commitment to the democratic principle and social values, which he always advocates to raise the names and fame one of the best bar council in the country. Justice Mohan Shantar got a journey from Kande Begur village to the Supreme Court of India. That journey had tremendous twist, a lot of hurdles, but his determination and made him to achieve the top position. It is remarkable for all of us to remember his hard work, determination, and taking everyone into confidence. These characters are really contributed to mold his career and wonderful, most successful manner. That's why he always popularly called as among the client advocates and judges as a Ajata Shatra. He was very popular among the junior advocates who hails from the rural and poor family back, especially for the first generation advocates who have joined the bar. They have adored late Justice Mohan Shantan Godar as a friend, philosopher, and guide. Justice Mohan Shantan Godar was a, known for extremely simple city and he was a symbol of motivation to the young advocates. He always motivated to learn the recent technology for achieving the excellency in the profession of motivated the young advocates to deep competitive qualities to appear for the judicial examinations. Justice Mohan Shantan Gouda believed that farmers are the backbone of this country. Both the profession, advocacy and agriculture are, are to be cultivated spontaneously to get desired result. Really, we can say advocacy and agriculture are the two faces of the same coin. It was the thought of thought factor of Justice Mohan Shantan Gowda. Late Justice Mohan Shantan Gowda was a truly follower of Lord Basavana, who was his role model and is always preached the practice, the ideology and philosophy of Lord Basava and Lord Buddha. On behalf of the State Bar Council and the legal fraternity, I take this opportunity to express my condolence to the private family of late Mohan Shantan Gowda and pray the God to give the strength to bear the great loss. My heartfelt gratitude to Honorable Justice M. V. Ramana, Chief Justice of India and other judges, Honorable Chief Minister and Honorable Law Minister for the support for organizing this program. Thank you, Jai Hind, Jai Karnad. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for your warm and heartfelt tribute. Now, may I request Honorable Mr. Justice Satish Chandra Sharma, Acting Chief Justice, High Court of Karnataka, and Chief Justice designate to kindly address the gathering. Honorable Mr. Justice M. V. Ramanna, Chief Justice, Supreme Court of India, New Delhi. Honorable Mr. Justice S. Abdul Nazir, Judge Supreme Court of India. Honorable Mr. Justice A. S. Bopanna, Judge Supreme Court of India. Honorable Mr. Justice Abhay Srinivas Oak, Judge Supreme Court of India. Honorable Mrs. Justice B. V. Nagratna, Judge Supreme Court of India. Honorable Chief Minister, Government of Karnataka, Shri Baswaraj Bumoi. Honorable Minister for Law and Parliamentary Affairs, Government of Karnataka, Shri J.S. Madhuswami. Respectable family members of Just Justice, Mohan M. Shantanu Gaudar. Honorable Justice Ravindran, retired judge of the Supreme Court. My brother and sister judges, Shri Prabhu Link K. Navadgi, Advocate General, Government of Karnataka. Shri Vaiyar Sadashiv Reddy, Co-Chairman and Bauer Council of India. Shri Kivad Kamleshwar Tukaram, Vice Chairman, Karnataka State Bar Council. Learned Additional Advocate Generals, Learned Central Government Advocates, Shri Ranganath, President Advocate Association, Learned Senior Advocates and other Learned Members of the Bar, Ladies and Gentlemen. Today's program has been organized to pay a tribute to Honorable Mr. Justice Mohan M. Shantanu Gorda, Judge Supreme Court of India, who has left us untimely on 24th of April 2021. Justice M. Mohan Shantanu Gorda was born on 5th of May 1958 in Haveri District. He graduated in science in 1977 
and graduated in law from Karnataka University Dharwar in 1980. He was a very bright student and stood second in the examination. He was on, enrolled as a member of bar on 5th of September 1980 and initially started his practice in the chambers of Sri I.G. Hire Gauder and thereafter he shifted to his practice to Bangalore. He joined the chambers of Sri Shivraj V. Patu, who later became a judge of Supreme Court of India. Justice Shantanu Gauder, as a member of bar, represented several educational institutions, cooperative societies, local bodies, and a, was a very respectable and popular member of the bar. He was chairman of the State Bar Council in the year 1955-56. He also held the office of public prosecutor. He was a member of the Karnataka State Legal Aid Board and was associated with the affairs of the National Law University Bangalore. He was a member of the Executive Committee of University in the year 1995-1996. He was appointed as a judge of this court on 12th of May 2003 and has delivered various landmark judgments. He was also the president of Karnataka Judicial Academy and was later on appointed as judge as Chief Justice of the Kerala High Court while discharging duty as Chief Justice of Kerala High Court on 17th of February 2017, he was appointed as a judge of the Apex Court. However, his brilliant career as a judge came to a sudden end due to his untimely demise. He was a fearless judge and has delivered large number of judgments on various important issues. The list is countless. However, I'll refer to few of his judgments. Justice Shantanu Gauder delivered important judgments on consumer protection, and one such judgment is in the case of Taj Mahal Hotels versus United India Insurance Company Limited and others, 2022 SCC 224. He has dealt with the issue of liability of a hotel for loss of a vehicle of a consumer parked inside the compound of a hotel. He invoked the doctrine of bailment, and he has held the hotel to be responsible as a bailey for returning the vehicle. The second important judgment is in the case of Leelawati Kirtilal Mehta Medical Trust versus Unique Shanti Developers and others, 2022 SCC 265. In the aforesaid case, he has laid down important tests to decide who is the consumer under the Consumer Protection Act and also held that the hotels have a duty to provide hostel facilities to nurses. Various other important judgments have been delivered by him as a High Court judge and as a Supreme Court judge. Though he was not keeping well, then also he was discharging his duty as a judge very effectively and gave wide interpretation to the provisions of Section 87 of the Code of Civil Procedure 1908 in the case of High Court of Judicature at Madras versus MC Subramaniam and others. His partial dissent in the case of Indoor Development Authority versus Shalendra is well known to us. He has delivered he, he has delivered judgments laying down guidelines for ensuring the safety and custody of valuables in the bank lockers in the case of Amitabh Das Gupta versus United Bank of India. In other landmark judgment, he has held that the court should inform the accused of his right to avail default ba bail when it accrues. He has also held that the farmers are entitled to find consumer complaint against the seed company in the case of Masses Nandan Biometrics versus S. Ambika. In another judgment, in the case of Sheikh Muktiar versus State of Andhra Pradesh, he has held that when an accused is unrepresented before a court, it is either to appoint an amicus or to refer the matter to legal services committee requesting it to appoint an advocate. I was transferred from Madhya Pradesh High Court to Karnataka High Court, and I wanted to convey my regards to Honorable Justice Mohan M. Shantanu Gorda. However, before I could do it, I received a call from him welcoming me to the state of Karnataka. I still remember that a function was held by the High Court in which he was also speaker. However, on account of his health issues, out of all persons, he selected me to read out his speech. I have interacted him on a number of occasions. He was a thorough gentleman, a very polite and humble judge, and was widely respected in the society. I am thankful to the Bar Council, State of Karnataka, for providing me a platform to pay tribute to such a great person who was the son of soil. Though Justice Shantanu Gorda is not with us, his teachings and judgments have made him immortal and will always be remembered by all of us. Thank you and Jai Hind.
thank you sir for your warm tribute now may i request ms justice b v nagaratna judge supreme court of india to give her tribute ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ದ ಚೀಫ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಎನ್ ವಿ ರಮಣ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಬ್ದುಲ್ ನಜೀರ್ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಬೋಪಣ್ಣ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಅಬಾಯ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಓಕ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಶ್ರೀ ಬಸವರಾಜ್ ಬೊಮ್ಮಾಯಿ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಶ್ರೀ ಜೆ ಸಿ ಮಾಧುಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಅಫೇರ್ಸ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸತೀಶ್ ಚಂದ್ರ ಶರ್ಮ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಮೈ ಎಸ್ಟೀಮ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಜಡ್ಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ವಿ ರವೀಂದ್ರನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಜಡ್ಜ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಮೈ ಎಸ್ಟೀಮ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಜಡ್ಜಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಜಡ್ಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಬಾಬು ಎಲ್ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಬಾರ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಶ್ರೀ ಪ್ರಭುಲಿಂಗ್ ನಾವಡ್ಗಿ ಲರ್ನೆಡ್ ಅಡ್ವೊಕೇಟ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೆ ಕೆ ತುಕಾರಾಮ್ ವೈಸ್ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಬಾರ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಶ್ರೀ ಸದಾಶಿವ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ವೈ ಆರ್ ಕೋ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಬಾರ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಲೋಕಾಯುಕ್ತ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಪಿ ವಿ ಶೆಟ್ಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಉಪ ಲೋಕಾಯುಕ್ತ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಪಾಟೀಲ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಎ ಪಿ ರಂಗನಾಥ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಆಫೀಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾರರ್ಸ್ ಅಡ್ವೊಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಲರ್ನೆಡ್ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಅಡ್ವೊಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಡಿಷನಲ್ ಸೊಲಿಸಿಟರ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೊಲಿಸಿಟರ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಲರ್ನೆಡ್ ಲಾ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಲರ್ನೆಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾರ್ ಮಿಸಸ್ ಸುನೀತಾ ಶಾಂತನ್ ಗೌಡರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಆಫ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಶಾಂತನ್ ಗೌಡರ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾರ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ವಿಶ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ವೈಟೀಸ್ ಲೇಡೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜೆಂಟಲ್ಮೆನ್ today we have gathered in this august hall to recall and reminiscence on the life and work of honorable justice mohan m shantan gowder who was a judge of the supreme court of india and to pay homage to him on account of his untimely demise on 25th april 2021 as we all know justice mohan shantan gowder was born in kande bagur village his in hirekarur taluk haveri district his parents were sri mc shantan gowder who was an advocate at dharwad and his mother was srimati indira shantan gowder on his completion of the law degree he enrolled in 1980 in dharwad under sri ig hire gowder he noticed his senior noticed within a year that mr shantan gowder had a great potential and he advised him to start his practice in bangalore and he was under the pupilage and tutelage of on india and in a short span of time in the office of justice shivraj patil he became an affectionate and trusted colleague later justice shantan gowder commenced his independent practice and since he was interested in the welfare of the advocates community he took up the responsibility of being a member of the bar council he was elected twice he was the vice chairman of the bar council and later the chairman later on justice shantan gowder was elevated as a judge of the high court of karnataka in may 2003 and thereafter he became a permanent judge we all know who who had appeared before him that as a judge he exhibited a great degree of compassion he never lost his patience and there was never an unpleasant situation in his court his lordship had always a smile in the court and infused confidence in every advocate particularly junior members who could argue in his court without any stress or tension 
no junior advocate missed an opportunity of arguing any case before him. We all know that his lordship was later elevated as the Chief Justice of the High Court of Kerala and then to the Apex Court in February 2017. I have pleasant memories of being an advocate appearing before him in his court and also later as his colleague. And particularly when Justice Shantan Gaudar and I and other colleagues were posted at Dharwad and Kalburgi benches, he ensured that we, the junior colleagues, were comfortable and also ensured that there was a cordial atmosphere in the benches and that we did not face any difficulties. Justice Shantan Gaudar exhibited great statesmanship and leadership, both as an advocate, as a chairman of the Bar Council, and he ensured that there was a cordial relationship between the bench and the bar. He believed that justice delayed was justice denied. He never delayed any matter, nor denied a patient hearing and exhibited true qualities of a judge. And that proved the way that he was not only a great judge, but a great It reminds me to watch my work, to watch my words, to watch my action, to watch my thought, and to watch my character, and to watch my heart. He related everything to his conscience, and he was always judging himself throughout his life. He also stated that in a democracy, the judicial institution has an important role to play and the common man and the seeker of justice looks upon the presiding officer in the court with high hope, faith, and confidence. Justice Shantan Gaudar was fully conscious of the fact that it was his sacred duty not to betray the faith of the people in the great institution that is the judiciary. On a personal note to Mr. Shiv Prasad and his wife, Mrs. Shweta, and to Ms. Pooja Shantan Gaudar, I would like to give my humble advice. That is to bear in mind the great legacy of your father. He would bless you each day of your life and strengthen your hands in all your future endeavors. His legacy is your strength. And today we are all acknowledging the same. I pray that Mrs. Shantan Gaudar and family have fortitude to bear the loss. I thank Mr. Srinivas Babu L, Chairman, for giving me this opportunity to share a few of my thoughts on the great Justice Mohan M. Shantan Gaudar. I end with a prayer. Asatoma Sadkamaya, Tamasoma Jyotir Kamaya, Mrityorma Amritam Kamaya, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Dhanyamadagali. Thank you, Madam, for sharing your memories and for having spoken about his simplicity and values in his life. Now, may I request Mr. Justice Abhay Srinivasoka, Judge Supreme Court of India, to pay homage. Honorable Chief Justice of India, Sri N.B. Ramanna, Honorable Sri Justice S. Abdul Nazir, Just Supreme Court of India, Honorable Sri Justice A.S. Bopanna, Just Supreme Court of India, Honorable Mrs. Justice B.B. Nagaratna, Just Supreme Court of India, Honorable Sri Basavaraj Bomai, Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka, Sri Justice Satish Sharma, 
एक्टिंग चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ कनाडा का हाई कोर्ट श्री जे सी मधुस्वामी ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ लॉ एंड पार्लियामेंट्री अफेयर्स सिस्टर एंड ब्रदर जजेस ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट ऑफ कनाडा का रिटायर्ड जजेस ऑफ द एपेक्स कोर्ट रिटायर्ड जजेस ऑफ द कनाडा का हाई कोर्ट श्री प्रभुलिंग के नावाद जी एडवोकेट जनरल ऑफ द स्टेट श्री एम बी नरगुन एडिशनल सॉलिसिटर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया श्री श्रीनिवास बाबू एल चेयरमैन कनाडा का बार काउंसिल श्री सदाशिवा रेड्डी वायर को चेयरमैन बार काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया दी अदर ऑफिस बेरर्स ऑफ दी कनाडा का स्टेट बार काउंसिल फैमिली मेंबर्स ऑफ जस्टिस मोहन एम शंतन गौडर श्री ए पी रंगनाथा प्रेसिडेंट बैंगलोर बार एसोसिएशन एंड अदर ऑफिस बेरर्स senior advocates learned registrars and other officers of the registry judicial officers learned members of the bar and ladies and gentlemen the entire legal world received a rude shock on 24th of april 2021 on hearing the news of untimely death of honorable justice mohan m shantan gowder today we have assembled here to pay tribute to late justice mohan m shantanu gowder so much is said about him by the earlier esteemed speakers i am not going to repeat it justice mohan shantanu gowder was known as a judge who spoke his mind he never minced his words both in judgments and his public addresses he was known as a fearless judge who always upheld the individual liberties his decisions bear testimony for this my brother justice satish sharma has referred to several decisions landmark decision rendered by justice mohan and santana gowder i have read many articles published by his law clerks and interns the art articles describe him as a great human being for his interns and law clerks justice santana gowder was a father figure who even took care of all their needs speaking for myself his death is a personal loss to me though i have read his large number of decisions and i have heard so much about him i could personally meet him only after i became the chief justice of kannada ka high court i met him for the first time in august 2019 when he attended inaugural function of additional building of the metropolitan magistrates court at bengaluru i found him to be very friendly and down to earth he was known for his remarkable simplicity and kindness one of his staff members who worked with him in the supreme court is now working with me he described him as the most kind hearted and simple judge he has ever seen the same staff member told me that he suffered from heart ailment and justice mohan chantana gowder went out of the way to render necessary medical help to him in december 2019 i was unable to attend the court due to sickness i remember at that time practically every alternate day he used to call me and inquire about my health he was so kind to me that he suggested names of few eminent doctors in the city and suggested that i should take their advice while discharging my duties as the chief justice of kannada ka high court he was like my elder brother he guided me during difficult times from july 2020 when we started phase by reopening of the courts he always came out with very valuable suggestions as a guardian judge in charge of kannada ka state legal service authority he took keen interest in the activities of the kannada ka state legal service authority he always actively supported all the new ventures of the kannada ka state legal service authority initiated by brother justice arvind kumar he fought with his deadly disease valiantly justice sharma told you just now that in january 2021 though his health was not supporting him he wrote down his speech and requested me to tell justice sharma to read his speech though his health did not permit him to do so for more than 2 hours he made his virtual presence through video conference that shows his strong commitment 
we have lost not only a great judge but also a great human being he has left indelible mark on the judicial history of karnataka high court as well as the supreme court of india his family members are present here today to whom our hearts must go in sympathy do justice mohan chandra gowder is no more his enormous contribution to the legal system and his phenomenal work will live forever and will be always remembered i thank the bar council for giving me this opportunity to pay homage to justice mohan m chandra gowder jai hind thank you sir for your warm tributes in fact it may not be out of context to state that honorable justice mr oka has left a remarkable mark in the history of high court of karnataka and we shall ever we shall ever remember him for his simplicity dedication and hard work there was absolutely no discrimination between seniors and juniors he was to the point therefore on behalf of the entire ksbc and entire legal fraternity i express my gratitude to honorable justice mr oka now may i request honorable justice mr bopanna the judge supreme court of india to speak a few words honorable justice n v ramana chief justice of india honorable justice abdul nazir honorable justice abayo honorable justice nagratna judges of the supreme court of india shri basavaraj bommai honorable chief minister honorable justice satish chandra sharma acting chief justice shri jc madhuswami honorable minister for law and parliamentary affairs shri prabuling navadgi advocate general shrinivas babu chairman ksbc shri sada shivreddy co chairman and all the committee members of the bar council family members of justice mohan shantan gowder justice ravindran former judge of the supreme court and all former judges of the high court of karnataka as also the present sitting brothers and sisters judges of the high court of karnataka advocate friends ladies and gentlemen life is a cycle which starts with birth and ends with death on this day when we have gathered to pay tributes to our beloved justice mohan shantan gowder i am here with a sorrowful heart it is undoubtedly a sad moment not just to the family but to the entire judicial fraternity of which which he was a member but looking to what has been achieved by justice mohan shantan gowder the tribute we pay should be to celebrate the exemplary life he has lived and has been a role model to the others as uh, the earlier speakers have mentioned certain great qualities of justice shantan gowder and also though all of us may be in a position to recall one or the other of his qualities and instances of his good nature it is so multifarious that it is difficult to consolidate it when i wanted to put it put his qualities in a consolidated form i remember to have read what was referred by albert einstein about an inscription inscription on the grave of h a lawrence a great physicist 
to describe his life which i consider would be appropriate to describe justice shantan gowder in a paragraph therefore i quote what was inscribed on the grave it reads like this his life was ordered like a work of art down to the smallest detail his never failing kindness magnanimity and his sense of justice coupled with an intuitive understanding of people and things made him a leader in any sphere he entered everyone followed him gladly for they felt that he never set out to dominate but always simply to be of use his work and his example will live on as an inspiration and guide to future generations generations unquote i am sure all what has been said there is tailor made to describe justice shantan gowder though justice mohan shantan gowder may not be physically present amidst us it is said those we love can never be more than a thought away for as long as there is memory they live in our hearts life <coughs> may have come to an end but i am sure his achievements and good deeds will continue to inspire all of us and his great memories will live on i appreciate the initiative taken by the karnataka state bar council in organizing this program and thank the chairman and his team for giving me this opportunity to be a part of the program thank you very much thank you sir for your heartfelt and warm tributes now may i request honorable mr justice abdul nazir judge supreme court of india to pay tributes honorable the chief justice of india shri justice n b ramana honorable chief minister shri basavaraj bommai my colleagues in the supreme court honorable mr justice a s bopanna honorable mr justice abhay srinivas ok honorable mrs justice b v nagaratna acting chief justice of the karnataka high court honorable mr justice satish chandra sharma <coughs> honorable judges of the high court of karnataka honorable mr justice ravindran former judge of the supreme court of india honorable justice vishwanath shetty lokayukta justice vishwanath shetty and upalokayukta justice b s patel honorable former judges of the karnataka high court chairman of state bar council shri srinivas babu shri j c madhuswami honorable minister for law and parliamentary affairs advocate general shri prabhulinga navadgi shri sadashiva reddy co chairman of bar council of india shri kiwad kalmeshwar tukaram vice chairman karnataka state bar council shrimati mohan shantan gowder my dear shiva prasad and pooja and other family members of shri shantan gowder members of state bar council learned advocates law officers registrar general of the high court and his colleagues and my friends it's with great it's with a heavy heart that i take this opportunity to remember justice shantan gowder a man whose pursuit of justice for the common man is a legacy that will last for many years his demise has indeed left a deep void in our legal fraternity his journey as an advocate began in the 1980s when he was admitted to the bar 
and went on to become one of the leading advocates of the Karnataka High Court Bar. He was a well revered amongst his peers and colleagues. In his interactions with and contributions to fellow members of the bar as the chairman of this esteemed institution, namely Karnataka State Bar Council in 95-96 is fondly remembered by many of us. Coincidentally, Justice Shantanagodar and I were both appointed as additional judges of the Karnataka High Court on the same day, 12th May 2003. Again, when I was appointed as a permanent judge of the Karnataka High Court on 24th September 2004, it was with Mr. Justice Shantanagodar. Thereafter, Justice Shantanagodar went on to serve as a judge, the acting Chief Justice, and the Chief Justice of the Kerala High Court. Our paths coincided again in 2017, when my journey with Justice Shantana Gowder continued at the Supreme Court, since we were both elevated to the Supreme Court together on the same day, 17th February 2017. In the time we shared, I remember Justice Shantana Gowder to be an astute legal mind, whose incisive legal thinking was constantly channelized towards aiding and encouraging the average citizen and resolving their everyday hardship. It is his intelligent empathy that I believe was a guiding force behind some of his judgments. In Krishnalal Chawla, his lordship has held that trial court judges had a duty to ensure that justice delivery system should not be used as a tool to fulfill personal vendetta and harass the average citizen. His concern for mental health prisoners in X versus state of Maharashtra is truly reflective of both his empathy and pursuit of rights across every section of the society. I have had the privilege of sharing the courtroom with Justice Shantana Gowder on many occasions in the High Court as well as in the Supreme Court, and it would have always a calm atmosphere. It is said that calm mind is the ultimate weapon against any challenge in life. He possessed that quality in abundance. Adakage now Mohan Shantan Gaudran Yavaglu Kareyudu, Shanta Murti Shantana Gaudranta. He was particularly encouraging junior advocates. However, once the parties were given fair opportunity to be heard, he was fierce in enforcing the letter of law against the guilty. In Rekha Sengar, for instance, he's refused any leniency to hospitals who were guilty of conducting gender discrimination tests, affirming that a stern stance was needed if female feticide had to be curbed. Outside the courtroom, Justice Shantan Gowder's humorous and humble mannerism charmed all his colleagues, advocates, his staff, or everybody else who came in contact with him. To this day, he remains one of the only two judges to have received a handwritten thank you note from a 10 year old boy who was grateful to Justice Shantan Gowder and Justice Kurian Joseph for, for bringing finality to years of matrimonial discord and litigation between the child's parents. Justice Shantan Gowder left us on 24th April 2021, even as he battled with his ailments he delivered a detailed judgment on 22nd March 2021 on an insurance matter. Justice Sharma had noticed this in his speech. Such was his commit and commitment and dedication. His untimely demise is a great loss to the Supreme Court and the nation. I pray for strength to his family during this difficult time. If we were to sum up Justice Shantan Gowder's career as a litigator, judge, and above all, as a remarkably empathetic human being, it is a single word, it would be dignity. To that end, I would like to extrapolate a few phrases from his own judgment delivered in X versus State of Maharashtra, which I believe personify him. I quote, an irreducible core of life is dignity. An irreducible core of life is dignity Human dignity comes in different shades and colors. Dignity does not dry out with the judge's ink. Rather, it operates beyond his last breath. 
May God eternally bless the departed soul. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir, for your warm and judicious tributes. Sir, now we are going to talk about Bhagavad Gita, Abdul Nazir Sahib, and the health of the people who are going to talk about it. Secular and real, now we are going to talk about it. Kaltka Gaku, he is always a role model to us. Now may I request Honorable Chief Minister, Chief Minister, Mr. Basuraj Mumbai to release a documentary, a small documentary on justice, M. Mohan Chantan Gowder. Stira Chitra, Salpa narration. I think it is about eight minutes. Sorry, there is some technical disturbance. Just give us two minutes. Just Mohan M. Shantana Gowder. Justice Mohan M. Shantana Gowder, a native of Chikiru, was born on the 5th of May, 1958, at Kandibagu, Kire Kerur Dairy District, Karnataka. Justice Mohan M. Shantana Gowder was born to late Sri M. C. Shantana Gowder and Srimati Indira Shantana Gowder. Late Sri M. C. Shantana Gowder practiced as an advocate in Darwar for 45 years. Justice Mohan M. Shantana Gowder studied from grades 1 to 3 at Vassal Mission Practicing School, Darwar. He studied grade 4 at Kannada Gandumakala's Teachers Training School, Darwar. 
grades 5 to 10 was at RLS High School, Garo. His first year PUC to BSc degree final year was at the Karnataka Science College, Garo. He completed his BSc in 1977 by securing a first class. Justice Mohan M. Shantana Gauda enrolled as an advocate on the 5th of September, 1980. He started his practice in Darwad in the same year in the chambers of Shri I.G. Hire Gauda. After a year of practice with Shri I.G. Hire Gauda, Justice Mohan M. Shantana Gauda came to Bangalore in 1981 and started his practice under Shri Shivaraj B. Patil as the then his lordship. In one instant, prior to joining the chambers of Sri Shivaraj B. Patil, Sri Shivaraj B. Patil asked Sri Mohan M. Shantana Gauda how he would survive in Bangalore because new lawyers make very little money and that he had left his hometown to come and settle here. To this, the young Mohan M. Shantana Gauda replied, said after office hours, that he would work in a grocery store until his practice picks up. To this, the amused Shivraj V. Patil said, you need not work in a grocery store at night. If you work hard enough in the office, the practice will pick up on its own. In May 1984, Justice Mohan M. Shantana Gauda started his independent practice and within a short span of time gained huge popularity. He was a legal advisor to various educational institutions, local bodies, and cooperative societies, specialized in civil, criminal, and constitutional matters. Justice Mohan M. Shantana Gaudi was not only an active lawyer, but also an active member of the bar. He was elected as the vice chairman of the Karnataka State Bar Council from 1991 to 1993. At a young age of 37, Justice Mohan M. Shantana Gauda was elected as the chairman of the Karnataka State Bar Council from 1995 to 96. Under his chairmanship, the Karnataka State Bar Council conducted a mega seminar in Darwar, wherein the distinguished guests included legal stalwarts like Sri Nani Palkiwala, Sri Ram Jethmalani, Sri Soli Sarabtu, and Sri K.K. Venugopal, among others. From 1999 till January 2003, Justice Mohan M. Shantana Gauda served as the State Public Prosecutor of the State of Karnataka and defended the state in many sensational criminal appeals and habeas corpus petitions. He appeared on behalf of the state of Tamil Nadu as their advocate in the High Court of Karnataka and defended the state during 1999 to 2002. Justice Mohan M. Shantana Gauda was appointed as additional judge of the Karnataka High Court on 12th of May, 2003 and was later sworn in as a permanent judge on the 24th of September, 2004. He was the president of the Bangalore Mediation Center and the Karnataka Judicial Academy. Justice Mohan M. Shantana Gauda, on transfer to the High Court of Kerala, assumed charge as the Acting Chief Justice on August 1, 2016. He was later sworn in as the Chief Justice of the High Court of Kerala on the 22nd of September, 2016. Justice Mohan M. Shantana Gauda was elevated as Judge of the Supreme Court of India on 17 February 2017, where he remained until his untimely death on April 24, 2021. In spite of his busy schedule, he would always make time for his family. He was very attached to his mother and his grandson. He is survived by his wife, Primati Sunita Shantana Gauda, son Sri Shiva Prasad Shantana Gauda, daughter Pooja Shantana Gauda, daughter in law Shweta Nagish, and grandson Siddhant Shantana Gauda, an avid traveler, 
Whenever Justice Mohan M. Shantagaudar found time, he would travel to various parts of the country. His principle was to see your country first and thereafter other parts of the world. Whenever he would travel to other states or other countries, he would always make it a point to see the courts of that state or country. Justice Mohan M. Shantana Gowder was known as a judge who spoke his mind. He never minced his words both in his judgments nor in his public address. He was also known for his sense of humor. Several of his colleagues at the bench and members of the bar have said that off the bench or on it, Justice Shantana Gowder had a great sense of humor. He brought liveliness to regular court proceedings. We would break into laughter along with other lawyers and the pressure of the proceedings was out. He was someone who would always encourage young junior counsels to argue. He would motivate them by giving them more time to argue, only to boost their confidence. He was always indulgent and always patient at his hearing. He was known for his humane approach towards the law. Several of his judgments bear true the same. prolonged illness, Justice Mohan M. Shantana Gowder left for the heavenly abode on April 24, 2001. A person who showed that by hard work, diligence, and sincerity, nothing is impossible. If a young advocate coming from a rural background can go on to achieving one of the highest posts in the country, anybody can do it provided one puts their hearts in. The name Shantana Gauda has two parts, Shan and Gauda. Shan means calm. Gauda means elder, one who shows the path and leads. Until the very end, he guided us, listened to us in a patient manner. We all will certainly miss the man always led by example. ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಅವಧಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ತಮ್ಮ ನೇರ ನುಡಿ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟ ವಿಚಾರ ಸರಳತೆ ಮತ್ತು ಸಜ್ಜನಿಕೆಯಿಂದ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಜನಪ್ರಿಯರಾಗಿರುವಂಥ ನಮ್ಮ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಮುಖ್ಯಮಂತ್ರಿಗಳು ಈ ಸಭೆಯನ್ನು ಉದ್ದೇಶಿಸಿ ತಮ್ಮ ನುಡಿ ನಮನವನ್ನು ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಬೇಕೆಂದು ಕೇಳುತ್ತೇನೆ
ಮೋಹನ್ ಶಾಂತರಗೌಡರವರ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾಂಜಲಿಯ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಗವಹಿಸಿರುವಂತ ಸರ್ವೋಚ್ಚ ನ್ಯಾಯಾಲಯದ ಗೌರವಾನ್ವಿತ ಮುಖ್ಯ ನ್ಯಾಯಮೂರ್ತಿಗಳಾದಂತ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಎನ್ ವಿ ರಮಣ ಅವರೇ ಹಾಗೂ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟಿನ ನ್ಯಾಯಾಧೀಶರಾದಂತ ಶ್ರೀ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಬೋಪಣ್ಣ ಅವರೇ ಅಭಯ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಓಕ್ ಅವರೇ ಬಿ ವಿ ನಾಗರತ್ನ ಅವರೇ ಎಸ್ ಅಬ್ದುಲ್ ನಜೀರ್ ಅವರೇ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಆದಂತ ಚೀಫ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಆದಂತ ಶ್ರೀ ಸತೀಶ್ ಚಂದ್ರ ಅವರೇ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಬಾರ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ನ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಅಂತ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಬಾಬು ಅವರೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಕಾನೂನು ಮತ್ತು ಸಂಸದೀಯ ಸಚಿವರು ಆದಂತ ಶ್ರೀ ಜೆ ಸಿ ಮಾಧುಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಅವರೇ ಅಡ್ವೊಕೇಟ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಆದಂತ ಶ್ರೀ ಪ್ರಭುಲಿಂಗ ನಾಯುದ್ಗಿ ಅವರೇ ಕೋ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಬಾರ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ವೈ ಆರ್ ಸದಾಶಿವ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಅವರೇ ಹಾಗೂ ಶಾಂತನಗೌಡ್ರವರ ಕುಟುಂಬದ ಎಲ್ಲ ಗೌರವಾನ್ವಿತ ಸದಸ್ಯರೇ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆದಿರುವಂತಹ ಎಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನ ಗೌರವಾನ್ವಿತ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟಿನ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಅವರೇ ರಿಟೈರ್ಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಅವರೇ ನನ್ನ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಿರಿಯರೇ ಅಣ್ಣ ತಮ್ಮಂದ್ರೆ ಅಕ್ಕ ತಂಗಿರೇ ಮಾಧ್ಯಮ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತ ನಾನು ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಈ ದಿವಸ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ಮೋಹನ್ ಶಾಂತನಗೌಡ್ರಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾಂಜಲಿ ಅರ್ಪಿಸುವಂತ ಸಭೆ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಒಂದು ಸಂದರ್ಭ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ಬಹುತೇಕವಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಯಾರು ಕೂಡ ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಜೀವಂತವಾಗಿರುವಂತ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಬೇರೆ ಜೀವಂತಿಕೆ ಇರುವಂತ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಬೇರೆ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಲೈವ್ಲಿ ಮೋಹನ್ ಶಾಂತನಗೌಡ್ರವರು ಎರಡನೇ ವರ್ಗಕ್ಕೆ ಸೇರ್ತಾರೆ ಈ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಲೈವ್ಲಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹಿ ಮೇಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಬಡಿ ಲೈವ್ಲಿ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಬಹಳ ಅದ್ಭುತವಾದಂತ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿತ್ವ ಅವ್ರು ಎಂದೂ ಕೂಡ ನಾನು ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಅನ್ನುವಂತ ಇದರಗಡೆ ಇರುವಂತ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಅದು ತೋರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇರಲಿ ಅವರು ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ದಿವಸದಿಂದ ನಾನು ಬಲ್ಲೆ ಧಾರವಾಡದಲ್ಲಿ ವಕೀಲ್ಕಿ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಗೊತ್ತು ಐ ಜಿ ಹರೇಗೌಡರು ಅವ್ರ ಕಡೆ ಅವರು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ನನಗೆ ಆವಾಗ ಅವಾಗ ನಮ್ಮ ತಂದೆಯವರು ನೋಡಕ್ಕೆ ಬರ್ತಿದ್ರು ಅವ್ರ ತಂದೆ ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ತಂದೆ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಆತ್ಮೀಯರು ರಾಜಕೀಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಕೂಡ ಇತ್ತು ಆವಾಗ ನನಗೆ ಎನ್ ಪಾ ಬಸವರಾಜ್ ಅಂತಿದ್ರು ಅಂದರೆ ಭಾಳ ಆತ್ಮೀಯತೆ ಇವಾಗ ಅವ್ರ ಚೀಫ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಸಾರಿ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆದರು ಅವಾಗಲೂ ಏನು ಏನು ಬಾರ್ಪ ಬಸವರಾಜ್ ಅಂತ ಆ ಟೋನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆನರ್ ಟು ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಾಸ್ ನ್ಯಾವರ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ಡ್ ಈ ಥರ ಹಂಬಲ್ನೆಸ್ಸು ಡೌನ್ ಟು ಅರ್ತ್ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿತ್ವ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಬೌಂಡ್ ಟು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ವಿ ಏಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ವಿ ಅಕ್ವೈರ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ person where positions which he acquired never went to into his system he never allowed it to go into his system that is the greatness of a mohan shantan god one example i just want to give when he was elevated to supreme court sir he took four to five days on a holidays plus it he was on a holiday and visited 
all the bars of uh, almost 18 bars of erstwhile Darwa district. Now it is Hameri and Gadag district. Each taluka bar he visited. And I, I accompanied him three, four talukas. I just asked him, why are you visiting all these taluka bars? He said, my journey from uh, advocacy to a bar council started from here in these very bar associations. So I want to meet my erstwhile colleagues, the people who recognized me first. Now there are a lot of people who recognize me because I've been elevated to Supreme Court. But then these people, when I was nobody, these people recognized me. And uh, they stood by me continuously. So I owe the present elevation to Supreme Court to these very bar members. And he visited, and uh, and he didn't have any agenda, or he didn't send any functions, nothing, no, no, no protocol. Also, he just went, sat in the bar, and called everybody. They were just chatting the old days, and had a cup of tea and walked away. The simplicity, the warmth, and the connect to the roots was simply outstanding. It was some, some for somebody to really learn from the Mohan Shantan God's behavior, his thinking. Secondly, sir, he was a common man judge. If you look into all the judgments which have been quoted by all, all honorable justices here, Whenever it came to a suffering of a common man to some institution, some establishment, he always stood by that common man or a consumer or a farmer and uh, he has delivered justice to them. We could see a set of pattern in his judgment. Of course, in the framework of law, he always gave justice to the underprivileged, where normally the justice is a very far reach. That shows his, his uh, human character. He wanted to join politics. He wanted to contest uh, the Lok Sabha election. He had come and discussed with my father, my father said, you've got a bright judiciary career. You please perceive that. And uh, as the future was, became a Supreme Court justice, we, he has made us proud. Karnataka Bar, Karnataka High Court has produced a lot of uh, Justices, which we are proud of. And uh, people who have come to Karnataka has gone and they got themselves elevated to Supreme Court. You can see a few of them on the dais. They have made us proud. And uh, whenever we hear and read their judgments, we feel really not only proud, sometimes we get surprised that these are our people whom we have interacted, but we never try to know the intelligence and their power to deliver justice. Sometimes they surprise us with their, with their judgments. Really, we are lucky indeed. Karnataka, Karnataka Bar and High Court is very lucky that uh, these people have, including Mohan Shantar Goder, was on the bench of Karnataka High Court and they have delivered justice to the people of Karnataka. Mohan Shantar Goder was very humorous. We could see in his uh, addresses, 
you could see whenever you used to meet him he had some ethnic humor sense ethnic humor sense whenever he used to meet people from his village he never changed his uh, way of talking to them whatever he used to talk in his childhood or when he grew up he never changed that just to make them comfortable that was a great uh, um, character with him and uh, he has made us proud wherever he has gone to kerala or supreme court i had been to his home in delhi when he was a supreme court justice he had called me for lunch and uh, i thought that there will be some paratha and uh, delhi alu paratha alu sabzi but to my surprise he gave me a jolad roti and uh, all the chutneys which we eat then i said how can you make this here he said allinda hudun karkond bandeni and mrs santan godra have what she was not there but she took care that all the ingredients and everything was there for our lunch so he was a kannadiga by heart and uh, his uh, relations in the judicial circle in a short time in delhi had made such a outstanding relations it had developed uh probably justice uh, chief justice ramana has experienced that because uh, i know that uh, for some time you were sitting with him as a uh, one of the members co members of the bench as far as karnataka is concerned we have got such a good relations and uh, we are the law abiding citizens therefore the government has to be law abiding we are bound to be and uh, it has been taught to us it is in our culture and uh, justices like mohan shantan gowder has uh, shown us the way shown us the path and uh, people from karnataka have got such a good tradition where never whatever field they have gone therefore it binds us it binds us to do the good thing to be humble and to be fair and perform also therefore in this ecosystem we are today we will give on tribute to mohan shantan gowda the real tribute will be that we should continue the legacy of mohan shantan gowda his thoughts his action his judgments has to be passed to the next generation so that they have to create some chair or whatever form it is our law minister is here something has to be created in our law university and uh, so that his memory through his works will be a memorial for days to come for the future generation to come and i am really thankful that uh, chief justice of india justice ramna has come all the way from delhi to give a tribute to, to his brother judge that shows the the kind of uh, relation human relations they they have developed between mohan chantan gowda and himself i am really thankful to you sir and uh, 
all the Supreme Court judges, they have come all the way to give tribute. The tribute to Mohan Chantan Guru by all the justices is not only the tribute to the great Mohan Chantan Guru, it's a tribute to a very, very humane, common man and a great judge. It's a real tribute to all these um, characters where it was all embodied in Mohan Chantan Gouda. I'm really thankful to you, sir. And uh, Karnataka State Bar Council, they have brought us together and uh, allowed us to pay a tribute to Mohan Chantan Gouda and think to do something where uh, future will be a guiding path. One last word, sir. Swami Vivekananda had said, Therefore, uh, we have we will be alive to lead and uh, we hope to travel path at least few steps along with him in the future. Thank you, sir. Manisha, este beledro, tana bear and namaribardo. Jeeva kinta, jeevan tike mukhya. Manavana Jivana Kinta Manavia Temukya Now Mada Kelsa Nirantaravagi Janarika Nenukurbeku Nenapirubeku Ananta Sukhma Sandeshavana Kurdes Pashim to Sporti Dayaka Nudina Manasali Sirvanta Sanmanya Mukiman Trigrige Dhaniva Deguru. Thank you very much, sir, for your heartfelt tributes. Now, may I request Honorable Justice N. V. Ramana, Chief Justice, Supreme Court of India, to kindly express his views and tribute. Honorable Chief Minister of the Karnataka State, Sri Basavaraz Bomai, Honorable Justice Abdul Najir, Justice Bapanna, Sri Sinwas Vok, Srimati Nagaratna, Honorable Justice Satish Chandra Sarma, Acting Chief Justice of Karnataka High Court, my dear brother and sister judges of Karnataka High Court, this is Ravindran, this is Vishwanath Sethi, this is B.S. Patil, Mr. J.C. Madhuswami, Honorable Minister for Law and Parliamentary Affairs, Sri Prabhuling K. Navagri, Advocate General, Srinivas Babu, <coughs> Chairman Karnataka Bar Council, Sri Sadasiva Reddy, Co-Chairman Bar Council, Mr. Tukaram, Vice Chairman Karnataka State Bar Council, family members of late C. Justice Mohan Santan Gowder, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Om Asutoma Sadgamaya, Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya, Prachonga Amrutangamaya, Om Santi Santi Santi. It is the, with a deep sense of sorrow that I have come here to pay tribute to my late 
brother justice mohan santar gowda my brother jesh who passed away on 24th april 2021 in losing him the country has lost a common man stretch i have personally lost a most cherished friend and a valuable colleague brother santar gowda had a humble origin he was born in a village in a remote place of karnataka his father sri mc shantan gowder shrimati indira shantan gowder brother shantan gowder's father had been an advocate in darwar with an immense experience perhaps that is why after completing his bsc he decided to pursue law from karnataka university he graduated in securing second rank in 1980 while he began his practice in darwar initially with his senior ig here gowda thereafter he shifted and practiced in bangalore worked with the chambers of justice shivaraj patil he then the a practicing advocate he was particularly interested in taking up the case of poor and underprivileged brother santana gowda was appointed additional judge here thereafter permanent judge and went to kerala then elevated as a judge of the supreme court on 17th february 2017 his contribution to the jurisprudence of the nation from the time of his elevation to the high court and particularly during his tenure in the supreme court is indisputable his judgments provide a deep insight into his years of experience his depth of knowledge and his unending wisdom but more than anything his judgment showed simplicity abundant common sense and a practical approach his tenure as a judge was marked by his concern for social equality opportunity to all and the rights and liberties of the people i want to only quote two three judgments of him that is one is nandini biometrics where the farmers are also consumers and also seek compensation under the consumer protection laws second judgment is amitabh das gupta he passed strictures against the bank officers imposing unfair conditions to the consumers he is known for his fearlessness and independence the third one is his dissent in the indoor development authority case he never means words but at the same time he was never rude sitting on a bench almost one and a half year with him is a great pleasure for me i witnessed his legal acumen immense preparation as well as his kindness and generosity of the spirit we grew extremely close over that period and there were many days that we shared our views over breakfast while sitting together we discussed several important cases including the mental health of the convicts sentenced to the death penalty one thing which stood out about brother justice santan gowda was his sense of humor and his infectious laughter in court when tempers could run high he could magically make all the tensions disappear with a ready fun as the american poet langston hughes once said like a welcome summer rain humor may suddenly cleanse and clean the earth the air and you unquote it is it was well known that brother santan gowda encouraged young lawyers who were always welcome at his firm to seek the guidance further i was made aware of certain heartfelt articles written by his research assistants after his untimely demise which is a testament for his warmth and his caring for them i would also like to recall one heart touching incident with him one day while after hearing case we retired chambers and uh, on the way i lost this gemstone this was given by sachin sai baba after my elevation as a judge the stone only i lost i went back to chamber and realized that i lost chain this gemstone i called brother santana gowda and i asked brother i have lost this he knows about the thing because we used to exchange and discuss several religious issues also because he is ardent 
devotee of Shiva. He used to show his Shivalinga and all rituals which he practiced every day. So I also said about the value of this, uh, this ring. So he was very upset. I was also upset, but I kept quiet. Then I am sitting in the chamber. After half an hour, he came back with this uh, gemstone. I said that, how, how you got it? See, Supreme Court lunges are very huge with all carpets and that. It is very difficult to find out anything. I don't know. He spent half an hour on the corridors and court area. Personally, he searched for this gemstone and got it. This is how a man, uh, so uh, affection, it speaks of his immense humility. Whenever I wear every day, I remember, apart from Baba, Santana Gauda also, that is our relationship. Over the last year, when his wealth took a turn of the worse, I remember how difficult to work, but in spite of all his health conditions, he used to work. And uh, I advised it several times, brother, don't take strain, sit at home, and don't bother about the court work we can do later on. No, 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 I can't sit at home. I will conduct proceedings from home. Don't bother, I will work. This is how he used to work, his commitment to the work. He was altogether a different fiber. He was built with a different fiber. Till last date, he worked and uh, for the uh, system and his commitment to his judicial duty was a very inspiring thing. While speaking about brother, I was reminded a poem written by Dr. D.V. Gundappa, a Karnataka poet, I quote, Ullagu betti dadi, manega mallega yagu, kallagu kastagala, malaya vidi suraye, bella sakkara yagu diena durbala, rige, yellaru, ulagandagu mankutima. My brother led his life in the way this poem is describing. Always had concern for the poor. He was very jovial and understanding. It is true, every one of us said that he is kind to everyone, but God is not kind to him. Although this might be a slight digression, this is the forum which I want to tell the ideals which Mohan has thought of because we used to discuss certain issues about the Indian legal system and the functioning of the courts, etc. I wish to speak about the Indian judicial legal system before this August gathering. Very often, our justice delivery poses multiple barriers for the common people. The working and the style of courts do not sit well with the complexities of India. Our systems practice rules being colonial in origin may not be best suited to the needs of Indian population. The need of the hour is the Indianization of our legal system. Why I say Indianization? I mean the need to adapt to the practical realities of our society and localize our justice delivery system. For example, parties from a rural place fighting a family dispute are usually made to feel out of place in the court. They do not understand the arguments or pleadings, which are mostly in English, a language alien to them. These days, judgments have become lengthy, a long, which further complicates the position of the litigants. For the parties to understand the implication of a judgment, they are forced to spend more money. Courts need to be litigant-centric as they are the ultimate beneficiaries. The simple request of justice delivery should be our pressing concern. It is crucial to make justice delivery more transparent, accessible, and effective. Procedural barriers often 
undermine access to justice. The common man should not be apprehensive. While approaching the court, he should not feel scared of the judges and courts. He should be able to speak the truth. It is the duty of the lawyers and the judges to create an environment which is comforting for the litigants and other stakeholders. We must not forget that the focal point of any justice system is the litigant, the justice seeker. In this light, usage of alternative dispute mechanism such as mediation and conciliation would go a long way in reducing the friction between parties and would save resources. This also reduces the pendency and requirement of having lengthy arguments and lengthy judgments. Justice Warner Berger, a former Chief Justice of American Supreme Court, once said, I quote, the notion that ordinary people want black robot judges, well-dressed lawyers in a fine courtrooms as setting to resolve their dispute is incorrect. People with problems, like people with pains, want relief and they want it as quickly and inexpensively as possible, unquote. A judge who understands this is what our system requires. Brother Mohan Chantana Gowder was one such extraordinary judge. There were the topics, Brother Mohan Chantana Gowda, I often, these are the topics we discussed every day. I thought it is my duty to provide insights of his, in his lay a chair or some study center or some program to continue his legacy and his ideology. I place on record a deep sense of gratitude to Brother Mohan Chandra Gowda's contribution to Indian judiciary, the country's jurisprudence, and his friendship throughout our time together on the Supreme Court. My deepest condolences for his loss. I would also like to give my regards to Madam Srimati Sunita Shantan Gowda, Justice Shantan Gowda's loving wife, and Shiva Prasad, Seta, his daughter-in-law, and Puja Shantan Gowda. This is Seta Shantan Gowda's loving children who stood by him in every way. I specifically remember Shiva Prasad dedicating his 24-7 for Brother Shantan Gowda's care. I always, I tried my level best in the entire world, whom I know, each and every doctor we called and we tried to provide best medical health and care. Unfortunately, it could not succeed. I stayed, he stayed with him, took him to various hospitals and stood by his son till last breath. And ultimately, I pray my respectable homage to late Brother Shantan Gowder and pray the God to give strength and courage to his family members. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for your tributes from the bottom of the heart and for speaking for transparency and accountability in judicial system. We really express our gratitude and thanks for the same, sir. Now, may I request Mr. Shiv Prakash, son of Mr. Justice Mohan Chantan Kaur, to speak a few words. Honorable Justice N.V. Ramana, Chief Justice, Supreme Court of India. Honorable Justice Abhay Srinivas Vok. Honorable Justice B.V. Ragnatna, Judge Supreme Court of India. Honorable Justice Satish Chandra Sharma, Acting Chief Justice. Honorable Shri Basavaraj Bhumai, Honorable Chief Minister. 
other distinguished guests on the dais, off the dais, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming here today and supporting our family in this time of grief. To put it in simple words, my father was my hero. He was the strength of our family and it's a pillar of strength. He would often tell me, even towards the end, that Shiva, ye ne barli na idristine ni daira kalko pada na ni jote awaglu irtini anta hello. He would say, sir, that uh, come what may, I'll be with you. I'll face anything which is given to me. You don't lose hope. He said this towards the very end. He was a man of strong character, firm ideas. most of all a fighter we feel i and my family members feel that we have been cheated that uh, he has been taken away from us so soon we will miss his smile miss his laughter miss his advice miss his just mere presence i am sure is uh, looking down on us today and still guiding us with his hands on our shoulder i want to thank uh, bar council for arranging this tribute and i want to give our i and my family members want to give our special gratitude to honorable justice nv ramana sir we have over the last one year we have troubled you <laughs> most of the time in the middle of the night and uh, he has responded not just over phone calls but he has guided us in every step of the way as lordship just said that he we if not for him we would not have gotten the best medical help it is solely sir's care and love and affection towards father that we could get uh, that kind of assistance i want to thank uh, each and every person who is present here today friends of my father who have all shown the love and affection which we think he deserved thank you so much i pray on behalf of karnataka state bar council and the legal fraternity to give strength and courage to the family of justice mohan chantan gaur for his untimely device demise devra avrige avara kutumbakke dhairya mattu sthairyavanna kodali anta prarthisthine adhe riti karnataka bar council yavattu nimma jothege irutte anta helta now i call upon mr kalmesh kivad vice chairman ksbc deliver vote of thanks dignitaries on and off the dais i take it as my privilege to offer an gratitude on behalf of the karnataka state bar council and the entire legal fraternity to all the distinguished personalities and participants for making this tribute a meaningful gratitude to justice mohan m shantan gowda the words of the distinguished guest on this occasion have aptly described the great contribution of late mr mohan m shantan gowda in the field of law as an advocate as an president of the bar association and as a member of the karnataka state bar council i had the great moments to seek the guidance of justice shantan gowda honorable mr mohan shantan shantan gowda was really my mentor i shall remain grateful to him throughout my life i also take this opportunity to pay my personal tributes our state council shall be committed to the principles preached by mr justice mohan chantan gowda i sincerely thank honorable mr justice nv ramana chief justice of india for gracing the occasion and delivering a meaningful speech about 
Justice Mohan Shantan Gowder. I sincerely thank Mr. Basaraj Bombay, the Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka, for having attended this function in the midst of his busy schedule. His words about Justice Mohan Shantan Gowder are reflection of his administration towards a great human being. Thank you, sir. I sincerely thank Honorable Mr. Justice S. Abdul Najir, Judge Supreme Court of India, for an insightful speech about Justice Mohan Shantan Gowder and his association with Justice Shantan Gowder. I sincerely thank Honorable Mr. Justice A. N. Bupanna, Judge Supreme Court of India, for making this function a dignified event by his presence and his address. I sincerely thank Honorable Mr. Justice Abhay Srinivasu, Judge Supreme Court of India, who continued to inspire us with his concern towards the Karnataka judiciary. His presence has reinforced our commitment to the institution of justice. I sincerely thank Honorable Srimati Justice B. V. Rath, B. V. Nagaratna, Judge Supreme Court of India, who is also the biggest contribution from Karnataka to the Supreme Court of India. Her lordship speech is really inspiring for the entire legal fraternity. I sincerely thank Honorable Justice Satish Chandra Sharma, our Acting Chief Justice, for gracing the occasion by his presence. His lordship's words are true inspiration to the Karnataka judiciary and legal fraternity. I sincerely thank Sri J.C. Madhuswami, Honorable Minister for Law and Parliamentary Affairs, Government of Karnataka, for his whole altered support and participation. I sincerely thank Sri Prabhuling Navadri, Learned Advocate General, Government of Karnataka, who has played a vital and prominent role in organizing this function. I thank Sri Y.R. Sadashu Reddy, Co-Chairman, Bar Council of India, for his kind presence and wonderful words about Justice Mohan Shantan Godar, who recalled his memory in his inspiring address. I thank Srinivas Babuyal, our beloved chairman of the Karnataka State Bar Council, for organizing this function as the head of the legal fraternity of the state of Karnataka. I sincerely thank all the honorable judges of our High Court for the guidance and participation in this function. Last but not the least, I also thank all the members of the Karnataka State Bar Council, former Bar Council members, retired High Court judges, honorable retired Supreme Court judges, respected senior advocates, my dear advocate friends, all the Registrar Generals, High Court of Karnataka, and all judges. My special and heartfelt thanks to the family members of Justice Mohan Shantan Gowder for their participation, support, and guidance. I also thank all my friends from the media. I thank one and all who made this function possible in the true sense and spirit. I also thank the technical support for making this video. Thank you, one and all. Jai Hind, Jai Karnataka. Now I request everybody to stand up for the national anthem. जनगण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जल धितरंगा तब शुभ नामे जागे तब शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तब जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಊಟದ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಮಾಡಲಾಗಿದೆ ವೇದಿಕೆಯ ಎಡಭಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ನನ್ನ ಬಲಭಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಎಡಭಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಊಟ ಸ್ವೀಕರಿಸಿ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು 